what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Josh back with another video. Man, right now I'm on my way to the house. I'm stuck in traffic a little bit. This highway is moving slow. I hate traffic, but I wanted to get home without having to go through all those stoplights. So, you know, I kind of use the slow moving traffic for time to talk to you guys. Um, I just want to let you guys know that tomorrow, which is Monday, and Tuesday are my last two days of barber school. Like, I'm super excited, super ready to be done. I've been in barber school for over a year now, and I've came to the end. It came by fast, to be honest. But I want to let you guys know that, like, I really want to get on YouTube more. So, you know, as I'm getting out of school, I have more time to do, you know, just everyday stuff, a little more hobbies. I want to be on YouTube, like, a whole lot more, get more comfortable with YouTube, you know, give you guys some free game, you know. Uh, just give you guys some entertainment of my life, you know. I'm, you know, it's no problem with me, you know. I'm just an open kind of guy, so you know, I like you know interacting with people and networking and meeting everybody, and meeting everybody that supports me on this channel. But anyways, I got a I got a video for you guys to watch a haircut tutorial. It came out super nice. I know you guys are gonna love it, and I have a lot more coming. And I've been kind of slow, but because I'm trying to get done with school, I got everything coming up. Um, so like, you know, I'm really just, you know, taking my time with everything. Also, Tuesday, my last day of school, I'm going to be vlogging. I'm going to vlog my whole day at school, you know, let you guys meet everybody. I never really like showed off my barber school, but you know, it's, on my last day, I'll let you guys meet everybody so you can follow them on Instagram. Check out all the new up and coming barbers that I had a chance, um, to be in school with and meet, you know, everybody cool. I, I love my class. I had a good time in barber school. So, I hope you guys like this video and stay tuned for more. I got a whole lot more heat coming. So, let's hop right into it. I hope you guys like it. YouTube, and we back. So, on this haircut, I'm going to be giving him like a mid ball fade. So, let's jump right into this chop. As always, to start off this haircut, I'm going to be starting off by combing throughout his hair. Lifting the hair up off the scalp so we can have an easy cut down process. So for his haircut, we're going to be doing a number two against the grain. This is going to be the height that I'm fading into and this is the height that he likes. Um, the reason why I'm going against the grain is because he has a cowlick and, he, and he's not trying to get waves or anything. So with me going against the grain, it helps me make sure that the head is even all over and especially around that cowlick area. Um, usually where I would have to, you know, try to figure out a way to finesse it and get it even. So going against the grain just made it easier for me with that cow lick in the front. So this is the height. So to start off creating my first guideline is fade, I'm going to be using my Babbless trimmers, setting in my bald line, and I'm going to be making sure that I go in even all the way across the head. And when you're setting in your bald line, make sure to go ahead and get all the hair that's underneath that line. Anything underneath that line needs to be gone, even if it's on the neck. Just go ahead and get it out the way and clean up your whole area so you can be more um, like organized in your fade. You know, so you don't have to come back or you might miss it. You know, you might end up forgetting to come back and cut the extra hair. Just go ahead and get it out of the way in the beginning. And make sure from the start of your first guideline with the trimmers all the way to the other side of the head that it is completely straight, like all the way across. My next step in this phase is going to be my wall magic clips with no guard on with the clipper all the way open. And I'm going up about half an inch and I'm going to be, um, Following the first guideline that I made, keeping it parallel all the way around the head so it can be an even fade all the way around. So right here I closed my wall magic clips halfway, working on getting this line out. And actually, I was having a hard time getting this line out with my wall magic clips. So I had to pick up my cordless wall seniors and finish it off. I kind of made a whole new guideline and I just uh, went in with my wall seniors halfway closed and went and took that line out. So 
So my next step in this fade is with my wall courtless seniors with the number one guard on with the clipper all the way open. And I'm going up about another half an inch. And right now I'm getting to the top of the fade. This is going to be my last transition. From this point on, I'm going to be fading into that number two against the grain. So as I'm taking all the bulk off in this step, midway through this step, I close my number one guard all the way. And I'm taking that line out, just softening it up to come back with my half guard. And as you can see that I'm going over the same areas more than one time. I'm just trying to ensure that I got every hair so I won't leave any dark spots. Now that we've put that guideline in, it's time to take it out. And right now I have my half guard on, fading right into that one close. You've maybe uh, heard me say it before, but sometimes that half guard doesn't fully get that line out with where that one guard sits with it all the way closed. So sometimes you have to come behind it with no guard on with a clipper all the way open. Use them like thin and shears. And sometimes you have to play around with the fade. So right here you see me take the half guard and put it on and take it off with the clipper all the way open. Right now I'm just working on that line, softening it up so it won't look so uh, bold, you know, make it look more blurry. So right here, I just came back with my number two guard all the way closed just to clean up around the ridges to make sure I got every single hair. So when I come back with my one and a half guard, it's good. So right here, I have my one and a half guard on with it all the way open and I'm fading right into that number two guard. The number one and a half guard fades right into that number two guard perfectly. So you will see me opening it up and close it just to seal that gap between the fade. So right here, I'm going to be doing some detail work in my fade. You know hitting up any dark spots that i probably uh, didn't uh, clean up really good so this is what's going to set you apart from other barbers that detail work does a big difference in your face as you can see i took my half guard off right now i have my uh clipper all the way open just using my clippers like thinning shears you know hitting certain spots using the corners of my teeth now it's time for the lineup i'm going to be using my babbler's gold effect skeleton trimmers for his lineup Right now, I'm just going to be shaping them up, so I'll let you guys sit back and watch. When doing shape-ups, please make sure to keep everything natural. Everybody doesn't have a perfect shape-up, but you got to kind of get an eye for what to do and what not to do in certain people's uh, shape-ups. Some people's shape-ups are, are thin, but you don't want to push it back to make it look right. So right here, I'm just going to be cleaning up his face, doing a lot of uh, cleanup work, just get all the extra hairs, sh uh, shaping up his goatee, and I'm going to be shaping up his mustache too, so I'll let you guys sit and watch. So right here, I'm going to be applying some hair fibers to his hairline. But as you can see, he doesn't really need it. He has a clean, natural hairline. It was sharp, but a lot of people just like the look that the hair fibers give them. It gives it a nice pop to the haircut, but also it takes a good barber to be able to do this. Um, sometimes, you know, if you can trust your barber that you have a nice lineup up under that, you know, everything is all good. But some people hide stuff with their hair fibers. But right now, I'm just shaping up the hair fibers, making sure it's all lined up with his hairline. And I'm going to come back and spray it and lock it down so right here i applied some holder spray to my hair fibers to lock it in real good so right here i'm just going to be lining up the hair fibers after i've dried it you know to clean up the, the forehead sometimes after you dry it uh, it shows a lot of uh, hairs that's like sticking out or fiber that's sticking out so you can kind of like come behind it and just shape it up and give it that real sharp look i always like coming behind the holding spray it just adds a nice pop so right here, I'm going to be using my Babyliss Shaver just to add a nice smooth transition, another transition to the fade to give it that, that smooth feel. And I, everybody likes that smooth feel. Right here, I'm going to take my trimmer to come behind that bald line just to clean up any areas where I left any uh, dark lines.
YouTube. This is the cut. I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment about what you think about this video. And also follow me on Instagram at JoshXBarber. It's seen on the top of this video. That's all for you guys. Stay tuned for more. It's your boy Josh and I'm out.